it's very important, um, I would say critical uh, for public safety and well-being. HHS, who were not CEC scientists, published the following guidelines stating it was not required to test people without symptoms of COVID-19. Dr. Yuri Shostak, a drug and discovery developmental scientist who's currently working on a vaccine for COVID-19, gives us insight on who HHS is. HHS uh, stands for Department of uh, Health and Human Services. And it's, uh, it's a department that has a large uh, umbrella of uh, various agencies. And some of the most, most critical and relevant agents, um, agencies um, for our topic of discussion um, are um, CDC, the Center of, uh, uh, for Disease Control, as well as a, an FDA, uh, Food and Drug Administration. In response to the news, Sarah Fing, a computer science and electrical engineer major at Cal, says she prefers advice from the CDC over HHS because of lack of experience. Well, if somebody, if a scientist is like straight out of their PhD, um, I'd say they probably really only have expertise on the subjects they wrote like their dissertation on um, in terms of like, yeah, like general like public health advising. To really be an expert, I think you would need enough time to like have done the research yourself. Somebody with like decades of experience over like somebody younger or like less experienced. With September's updated guidelines published against the CDC scientists' wishes, Dr. Yuri Shostak reminds people what COVID-19 is and the importance of taking the virus seriously. It, um, it's a disease that's caused by, by a virus. SARS-CoV-2. It's very important, um, I would say critical uh, for public safety and well-being is um, uh, social and specifically physical distances. Distancing is critical. Um, by wearing masks, uh, what you do, you actually not just protect yourself, but uh, you're protecting others. Reporting for CalTV, I'm Danielle Evans.